one minute. T minus one minute and Engine counting. Start box go. Rock report range status. Range green. Fifty seconds. Forty five. Launch enable enable. GE main power off. Main power off. Upper stage LH2 secure at flight level. Thirty. Status check. Go Delta. Go AFS PC four. Green board. Twenty five. Flight lock in. Twenty three. SRM TVC blowdown. Fifteen. Profe ignition. T minus. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have ignition of the RS-68 engine, 2, 1, we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the Av Space 4 mission for the United States Air Force. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agat providing launch vehicle ascent data. Symmetrical burn, 17 seconds in. Twenty-five seconds in, still looking good, good engine control on the first stage. Passing thirty-five seconds, chamber pressure beginning to drop in the solids as expected. Forty seconds in. Good chamber pressure in the main engine. Coming up forty-seven seconds, mark forty-seven seconds, Mach 1. Vehicle now going transonic. Altitude now passing five nautical miles, coming up on one minute. Mark, 60 seconds in, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. Downrange distance about four and a half nautical miles. One minute, 12 seconds in. Still looking good. Just had the hydrazine supply valve open in the second stage. On time. One minute, 23 seconds, about 10 seconds now remaining in the solids. Standing by for solid rocket motor burnout. Burnout. Standing by for SEP. And separation. Solid rocket motors have successfully separated from the vehicle. One minute, 50 seconds in. One minute, 56 seconds in, the Delta IV rocket now only weighs one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at the rate of 1,856 pounds per second. Two minutes, five seconds in, altitude now 26 nautical miles, velocity 5,753 feet per second, downrange distance 28.4 nautical miles. Now passing two minutes, 20 seconds, Mach 5, five times the speed of sound is our velocity at this point. Chamber pressure holding very well in the first stage. Good engine control in the first stage. About a minute and a half remaining in first stage flight. Altitude now passing 40 nautical miles. Two minutes, 53 seconds in. This time uh, we're experiencing the maximum fairing skin temperature as the vehicle continues to ascend. Passing the three minute mark. Mark, three minutes, two seconds in, altitude now 50, correction, 46.5 nautical miles, velocity 10,275 feet per second, downrange distance 88.9 nautical miles. Less than one minute remaining in first stage flight. Three minutes, 20 seconds in. Chamber pressure holding very well on the first stage, good engine control. Three minutes, 30 seconds in, about 30 seconds remaining in first stage flight. We'll first have the command to go to the partial thrust mode about uh, 25 seconds from now. We'll be in the partial thrust mode for just a few seconds prior to main engine cutoff or MECO. Three minutes, 45 seconds in, standing by for the command to go to partial thrust mode about 10 seconds from now.
and we have the partial thrust command. Chamber pressure dropping is expected in the first stage. Standing by for Miko. We have Miko. Standing by for stage separation. And we have stage separation. We have Ignez is deploying. Standing by for the igniter spark. We have igniter spark standing by for ignition. And we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressure is beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Standing by for fairing sep. And we have fairing sep. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus five minutes. We've just heard Steve Agad report the successful execution of the events comprising the early portion of this evening's flight. I'm 